Dr. Brianna Dorothy with Dr. Tony Lothar, and we are with Essentials of Life Chiropractic, where our mission is to help families get well and stay well. Today we're going to be going through the HRV scans that many of you have done, and if you have not, we'll get you scheduled for that. So, Dr. Tony, go through this for us. Yeah, this, uh, this is our video all about understanding your scans. Specifically, we're talking about the heart rate variability scans that come from what's called pro, uh, pulse wave profiler that's part of the Insight Subluxation Station, which is the technology we use in the office. Um, this gives you an overview of how your autonomic nervous system is doing, uh, and it's just a valuable piece of information to see how much stress your body can process, um, how well you can respond and, and overcome sickness, how well you can um, perform in sports, so it's a great tool to, to learn those things. Mm -hmm. This is the initial graph that you get when you uh, do this particular scan. Now what I'm going to explain is what the red line is and what the blue line is. And that's kind of the common questions we get when we do these uh, scans for people. The red line is something called your instantaneous heart rate over time. And it's, it's measuring the variability from one heartbeat to the next over a period of time. Also how high or low it is on this particular graph is a measure of, you're actually seeing so this particular individual ranges in heartbeat from 60 up to 90 beats per minute, again, over time. We're looking for heart rate variability. It is actually a good, healthy thing to have variability in your heart rate because this test is taken as you're sitting in a chair and at rest. What that means is that your body can then handle a stress that's put into it. If you have variability, it's just a, it's a measure of how able your body is to respond. If you had a, a very stable beat over time and it was up into the hundreds or 120, you don't have capacity or room to process anymore because you're almost maxed out. That's kind of how you can think about that. This blue line, <clears throat> occasionally we call it the fidget factor, but this blue line is, is measuring something called galvanic skin resistance. It's a technology that is oftentimes used in like lie detector tests. It measures skin conductivity, which is uh, a, a, a measure of temperature and if there's any moisture on the fingertips. Uh, again, if you have a, a response or a sympathetic response, you'll see these spikes happening. So again, on this particular individual, you'll see the, a lot of spikes happening throughout this entire scan, mm -hmm. which he was supposed to be sitting there at rest. Now again, um, we're looking at, this is giving us information about what's called your autonomic nervous system, which is the balance between your sympathetic, i.e. fight or flight response, and your parasympathetic, i.e. rest and digest. Now those two things are in balance with each other. This you can see, a lot of, you can see evidence of a lot of sympathetic dominance, fight or flight. It's, it's fairly high up here, there's a lot of lines bouncing here, and what we're going to see on the next graph, when I show you on the next slide, um, is how the technology puts these two pieces of data together and gives you one bullet point on a particular graph. Now, what I want to compare you to is this was November uh, 23rd, 2015. We redid this particular individual's scans on February 3rd, 2016. You can see that compared to the red line, it's lower, which is better, as well as this has stabilized a lot more in this line down here. We have a few spikes up during this thing but much better compared to this. And you'll see when we show you that where those are on the graph that this, this particular um, scan is in a much better situation. Okay? And again, this was a matter of about two months time frame. Now, as I had mentioned, we take this data, or the, the computer takes this data, there's an algorithm, it plugs it in, and it gives you a dot, a point, you can see right there, compared to everything else on here. Now, there's a bullseye pattern here. The green is optimal. That's where you want to be. Yellow is okay or decent. Orange is okay, kind of trending towards bad. Red is bad. The further you get away from the optimal, the further you get away from the green box, the more stress your body's processing, the more, um, well, there's two things you can look at here. The balance right to left. Now left has been uh, determined to be the sympathetic response, that fight or flight response. Now we've done a lot of these scans, we find a lot of people to be left. We live in a pretty sympathetic dominant society. We're always in fight or flight, always processing stress. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then there's the amplitude, how high or low are you? The higher you are, the, the, more the more your body's in the state of ease. The lower you are on here, 
the more stress your body's processing. It's kind of a, it's another capacity issue, like we had talked about just before in those scans. How much capacity do you have to heal and function? The closer you are to the green box, the more capacity you have to heal and function, to process stress, to perform in sports, to heal from sickness, whatever it might be. Now you can see, this particular individual, based on those previous scans, ended up on that outer border of yellow in the sympathetic fight or flight dominant side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what we've classically seen again, people start falling down to the left. Once you get down into the red zone here, that is bad. It's bad, but you still have a, fight, a fighting chance. Again, this is, this is fight or flight. You still got a fighting chance. You're, you're in the 10th round like Rocky, but you still got a fighting chance. Once that pops over to the right side, you got no more chance left. That was bad English, but you have no more chance left because this is where things start to shut down. You're getting close to something called exhaustion or just weakened. You have a very weakened uh, nervous, autonomic nervous system. And since that system controls the healing and function of your body, you don't have as much of a fighting chance anymore. It's going to be a lot longer of a journey to get up to that green zone. So again, this particular individual fell down into that zone right there. You can see, again, that was November of 2015. This is February 2016. That dot is almost into the green box. Much, much better. This individual is healing and functioning much better than this individual was here. Now here's the revelation. This is me. These are my scans from November to February. Now, why did I end up down there? Well, we had just opened a, a new facility. A, a, we opened a brand new office, an expansion that we opened. Um, we hired some new staff. We just, my wife and I just had a baby. I was healing from an, from an injury that I had had. And um, so there was a lot of stress going on in my life at that time. I wasn't surprised. I was actually pleased that I was only there in the yellow zone. But then I started doing some things. Now, yes, some of those stresses have gone uh, and, and improved, but I started doing some other things that have gotten me back closer to the green box. Now, my, my guess is you're wondering, what did he do to get to that green box? Well, stay tuned because in the next video, uh, we're going to teach you how we got this closer to the green box. Awesome. Good. Looking forward to that. So if you have not gotten your scan done yet, please schedule that with the upfront desk. And again, with Dr. Tony Lothar, Dr. Brianna Dorothy with Essentials of Life. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Our number is 763-413-6934 or visit our website at www.elcmn.com. And until next time, be well. Be well.